big on liquid cooling around here. Keeping temperatures down is critical when trying to get the most performance out of your CPU. And if you're overclocking, liquid cooling is pretty much mandatory. All-in-one coolers are great, but if you really want to customize the look and performance of your build, custom cooling loops are the way to go. And if you're super serious about liquid cooling loops, you're gonna wanna get into hard tubing. It's a little trickier than soft tubing, but the results are undeniable. We teamed up with Alpha Cool and Be Quiet to put together this Arctic Blast custom hard tubing build. And to show you that the process isn't as tricky as it looks. This isn't a comprehensive guide, but if you're interested in getting into hard tubing for your build, we'll give you some pointers on how to get started. First of all, you're going to want to select a case. You're going to need plenty of room to do a custom cooling loop. The Be Quiet Dark Base Pro 900 case was a great fit for us in more ways than one. It's even got a handy built-in wireless phone charger. Next up was the motherboard. We chose the ASUS ROG Zenith Extreme X399 board because it has pretty much all the features we're looking for, and we've been itching to show some Threadripper love. The Ryzen Threadripper chip we picked out special for this build is the 1950X, everyone's favorite giant 16-core 32-thread beast of a processor. On RAM duty is the reliable and oh-so-pretty G-Skill Trident Z RGB RAM. We popped in 32 gigabytes, though the board can support up to 128. You need a bit more power for custom loops, so we went with the reliable Dark Power Pro 1000 Watt PSU, also by Be Quiet, to juice up our build. Once we had everything selected and installed, it was time to get started with the cooling. There's a few things you'll need before you can put together a custom cooling loop with these materials. The first thing to consider is what exactly you'll be cooling. If you're bringing just your CPU into the loop, that makes things easier, but you'll need to make sure you get the right kind of cooling block and bracket. Our Threadripper socket bracket won't fit your Intel chip, so do your research before you start gathering everything to ensure compatibility. If you're also cooling your GPU on the same loop, you're going to need a specific cooling block for that as well. You'll also need to remove the shell cooling and protecting your GPU to put it in its new housing. It's not hard, but make sure you follow the instructions closely as to not damage your precious video card. Next, you're going to install your pump and reservoir. Most cases will have a dedicated space for this, so take a look at the instructions on your case and your pump to figure out where it's going to live. Companies like AlphaCool offer different styles of tubes made from different materials, but they all work essentially the same way. You heat them up using a heat gun until they're pliable, then bend them into the shape you need. Once they cool down, they retain the shape and you've got yourself a highly customized cooling solution. Once your tubes are bent the way you need, you'll hook them up to your radiator and pumps using fittings like these. Before we start cutting and heating though, you'll want to measure very carefully. Once everything is installed in your case, you'll want to see how much tubing you need from the component you're cooling to the reservoir, taking into account any twists and bends you might want. The first test is measuring and cutting. This might take a few tries until you get the hang of it, so don't be embarrassed to buy more tubing than you need. Everyone makes mistakes, even the experts. Once you've figured out where everything is going to end up, it's time to start cutting the tube. You can buy kits that have everything you need to measure and cut, including the heat gun, or you can buy it all separately if you'd prefer. Next, you're going to sand down the freshly cut tube edges so they fit properly in the fittings. Compression fittings have an inner O-ring that creates a seal when inserting the hard tubing. Finish it off with the compression cap that has an additional O-ring and plastic washer to make an airtight seal. Keep an eye out for tension spots where you might be forcing an angle. This will make a gap between the fitting and the hard tube. This is the part where you have to pay very close attention and make sure these fittings are fully sealed and waterproof because getting coolant in your build is super not great. Then it's a matter of carefully attaching your tubes to the reservoir and your custom build is only missing one thing the actual coolant. Once you've added the coolant, you can modify the color with dye, like the blue dye we have here. This is the final step in customizing your liquid cooling build, and the step where you can really make it yours. That's it! You're ready to use your killer new custom cooled PC. And feel free to rub it in all your friends' faces. You've earned it. Here's a few final tips to help keep your system running smoothly. When you get your radiators and tubes, make sure you clean them thoroughly with distilled water. These items should be coming from the factory clean, but rinse them anyway to avoid potential discoloration further down the road. 
Also keep in mind that piping made from different materials bends at different temperatures. Depending on what kind of tubing you get, you might need to play around with your heat gun to get the hang of its particular bending point. Don't be afraid to test it all out. That's part of the fun. Lastly, make sure your fittings are all made from the same material. If you get them all together, or as part of a kit, they probably will be the same, but you need to make sure you aren't mixing nickel with copper or aluminum. That can cause problems further down the road. There's plenty more to learn, but this should help get you started. Remember, the most important thing is research beforehand, patience, and being willing to follow the included instructions. We're super happy with our Alpha Cool build. Hard tubing adds a wonderfully distinct flair, and though it takes a little more preparation and time, it's totally worth it. Team up a build like this with a beautiful panel like the Pixio PX277, and you're looking at a super sweet setup. High performance and good looks. If you want to see more hard tube custom builds, just like and subscribe and check back soon. We've got some exciting projects in the works.